in lesson one here, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, UVing properly and basically making it easier for your, you to go ahead and texture your characters by giving yourself a really, really good UV map. With programs like Roadkill, um, Hedis, um, and plugins for Maya and Max, uh, I'm not sure if they actually make one for Cinema 4D or XSI, but like Unrella or Unfold 3D, um, even ZBrush, it, it's really easy to basically generate a really decent and really excellent UV map so that it's easy for yourself inside of Photoshop to go ahead and texture your character. And these pants are from a previous project and I simply used Roadkill to basically make the cuts on these pants to go ahead and make the UV shell for it. But the general idea here is to basically make it on make it easier on yourself to go ahead and then texture your character especially with the tools inside of Maya um, I'm not 100% sure on Max if you can actually bake out textures um, I think those are more for for things like normal maps or maybe even ambient occlusion maps inside of Max and, but I'm not 100% sure if you can actually bake out textures inside of Max someone might have to clear that up for me but inside of my it's real easy and I'll show you how to go ahead and bake out textures in a little bit but for right now I'm going to you know continue to talk to you about the importance of UV shells and you know it, and uh giving yourself a very very clean UV map to go ahead and texture onto and if we go ahead and select the pants I'm basically just going to bring up the UV window here you can see where this UV is is very clean and it's um pretty much laid out very easy for for me to go ahead and take this inside of Photoshop and basically texture on top and it was easy for me to do this simply because I used a program called Roadkill which allowed me to basically cut make one cut on the on the object it, itself and then it simply unfolds it for me um, and if I can save myself time by using a UVing program it's basically just going to make my job easier whether it's texturing characters or you know whether it's texturing uh, like props vehicles and whatnot and if you can make your job easier then so be it you know what I mean but you, you also want to make sure that both sides of your UV shell are, are even so that whenever you go to texture this in Photoshop I wouldn't actually have to texture or build both pockets of the texture. I can simply just build one and then duplicate it and flip it horizontally so that I can just simply place it on the other side as well. And I'm going to give you a little bit of um, a little demonstration here of, of roadkill and how easy it is to basically UV map inside of an external application like roadkill or uh, Unrella or even uh, Hedis's UVing application. But the importance here is you really want to make your job as easy as possible, especially in CG because CG does take an excessively long time, especially if you want something to be um, really good and really top notch. You basically want to make it a lot easier on yourself rather than eliminate all the headache and the the sort of hard work that it would take to go ahead and create a an amazing piece of of art. So Let's go ahead and I'll just give you a, a simple demonstration of, of roadkill in this video. So I'll just go ahead and select my object. And roadkill is one of those applications that uh, this also goes in conjunction with you want to have good clean quad topology, especially after retopologization um, or retopology. And you can see here where the, the geometry is good clean quads. I don't really have any triangles or any n-gons or any five-sided faces on the model and I'm still getting a good amount of detail on the model and this is even without the normal map supplied and this was basically just created after I uh, did the sculpt inside of ZBrush but let's go ahead and just select the model I'm gonna go ahead and delete the UVs and I simply just um, alt shift or yeah I'm sorry control shift 
click the uh, delete UV tool in the UV window here so that I could add it to my shelf. So since our UVs are actually deleted off the pants, I'll go ahead and export this to to the desktop here and we'll call this pants and then I'll go ahead and open roadkill here I'll go ahead and load our our pants object and I'll simply just make our cuts and I'm just gonna hit E on the keyboard and basically just double click select the edge and hit C and it just makes our cut for us and you can see where it it simply lays out our UVs in a a very good fashion here but since I need to go ahead and make another cut here I'll just go ahead and cut this edge just make sure I'm not selecting anything in the front there okay that's good and I'll just hit C and you can see how easy it is to basically go ahead and lay out our UVs and if I took this in the Photoshop or even working with my in conjunction with Maya it's going to be very easy to go ahead and texture this later on down the road and if you like I said if you can make it easier for yourself to go ahead and texture something then so be it you don't really want to give yourself a, a headache later on down the road and you can see where all the UVs are basically placed you know properly there's no stretching um, in terms of UV layout here and this would actually you know be very very easy to go ahead and texture there's not going to be any headaches or any problems whenever I go to texture this and it's just going to make it easier for myself like I said to go ahead and texture later on down the road whenever it comes to you know texturing time for the model so if uh, the major point of this video is if you can make it easier for yourself to go ahead and texture that's what you want to do especially with programs like Roadkill um, even Hedis, uh, Unrella or even ZBrush it's going to be real easy t now to go ahead and texture and UV your characters so I would suggest that that you learn them. Um, Roadkill is, is free Hedis is I think it's like 40 bucks or something um, Unrella is something like 40 bucks I mean they're all you know fairly cheap but paying 40 bucks to basically UV ca UV your characters and props it, it's it's priceless especially if it's going to make your you know your job easier so the important thing here is what you really need to know is you want to make sure you give yourself a a good clean UV shell to then go ahead and texture